Hi everybody! Today we're opening up the Wizarding World Loot Crate for April of 2019. And it was funny because I was just making my Japan Crate video and while I was making that, this box got delivered. So I'm like, hey, why not? I'll just make one video right after the other. So now let's open up this one. Um, but I can't help but notice that this box... Well, first of all, I can't help but notice that the sun is getting like the clouds are making the sun brighter and then dimmer outside. So if you see my lighting change, it's because it's like not super sunny and then it gets super sunny and then it gets dark again. So not much I can do. Um, but this box has been through the ringer. So I don't know if this box got all smushed up like from the loot crate folks, like if they had trouble on there. I really don't think so. I think this is a post office issue. I don't know why I think that. I just feel like, I just assume once it got, you know, in transit, it got a little banged up, frankly. Um, I think you can see some of that there, like how dented and stuff it is and how it's mushed on this whole corner. And it's actually like ripped open on the back. So I hope everything in here is okay. So let me open it up and find out. Okay, um, I'm not really worried about a lot of spoilers. I know a lot of times I don't like to like look too closely right away. I don't want to look at the booklet and stuff. I'm not really worried about it. We're just going to wing it. So on the inside of the box, I see it says Newt Scamander, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So I'm guessing this is more Fantastic Beasts focused than Harry Potter focused. So uh, right off the bat, oh, here's our booklet. Yeah, you know what? Let me tr see carefully so I don't see everything, but let me see what our uh, theme is. The Beast Within. Take off on a whirlwind journey through the streets of Paris from the comfort of your own home. Celebrate the small screen release of Fantastic Beasts of Crimes of Grindelwald with a crate sure to please the beast within. Okay, nice. So the first thing we have is a tin uh, print. Okay, a French ministry print. Fantastic Beasts of Crimes of Grindelwald. French ministry print. Okay, so like a little... Um, tin sign that you could hang up. Let's open it up. Yes, so basically, and I don't speak French, so Ministry of Magic, the French Ministry of Magic. So it's thin and um, kind of, you know, flexible, kind of. And I could see that being uh, something that you could easily hang up on a wall or a cork board even. It's cool. I think we got something in the last box with Oh yeah, we got some stickers, like about this size, and um, they had one that was uh, Fantastic Beast, Crimes of Grindelwald, and, and French Ministry themed also. So here's another French Ministry of Magic themed item. I think that's kind of neat how they're, how I, you know, there's been tons of merchandise over the years, I'm sure, for just the Ministry of Magic. And now we're seeing stuff from the French Ministry, so that's neat. And I hope, I would like to hope as an American fan, that one day eventually we would get to the point of having like American ministry information and things. So I think this is a good sign. And it's actually a little sign. So that's cool. Um, And I haven't seen anything like this in these boxes before either in terms of like a little kind of a tin sign. So that's different. All right, next we're going to just go for the t-shirt. So... Every single month they include a t-shirt in these boxes. And this is green with a snake. Makes me think of Slytherin. But we aren't really focusing on Slytherin if it's Crimes of Grindelwald. So let's take a good look. So there's a snake with the um, side profile. Oh, and then the A. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Um, Nagini. That's my, that's my assumption that this is Nagini her snake form and her human form represented. And then the A that's up here, I think refers to the circus that she was a part of. Well, unwillingly it seemed like she was a part of. So cool. You know, a lot of the shirts that we get are dark colors. So this one's no exception, but I think this is the first green shirt that I've gotten in this box. So that's nice. I like it. Um, nice and it's gonna be nice and big and loose. And then of course it'll shrink up in the wash. So that's why I like to get them um, with some room to spare. Next is a box. Oh, um, it says Kelpie mug. Ooh, here's the box, the picture on the box. And it says on the back, clear glass mug, 12 ounces. Okay, officially licensed, licensed and loot crate exclusive. 
I need to open this up immediately because I love a mug. I'm a mug addict. Well, recovering. In recovery. I am not buying mugs like I used to because how many mugs can you possibly need? About a million, if you ask me. Um, so I haven't been buying a lot of mugs lately. Been slowing down, trying to be more reasonable. Okay, let's take a good look at this. First of all, this is heavy. This is a nice, sturdy mug. And you can see the Kelpie. I hope the lights don't glare too much for you. And we saw Newt and the Kelpie in Crimes of Grindelwald. And so the Kelpie wraps around the mug. I love that this is a clear mug with the design. I love clear mugs. I don't know why. It just makes it kind of more fun when you can see your drink. Um, and oh, it, look, when you're looking in the when you're drinking out of the mug, you get to the bottom, it says, I don't know if you can tell in there, it says, watch your fingers. Very cool, very cool. I love a mug, I'm very happy about this. And okay, it tells you how to clean it and everything, what does it say, 12 ounces, so that's nice. This is, this is really cute, I like this. I don't think we've gotten a mug before in these boxes either. Have we got, okay, well, maybe in the past before I was signed up for it, but as far as I remember, I have not gotten a mug before in these boxes, so I'm very happy to be getting a mug now. Love mugs, hooray, love it. So that was three things. Now, what are these? Item number four is a baby niffler squishy set. I have to open this immediately. Immediately, because I like the baby nifflers a lot. I thought they were very cute in the movie. And I like things that are squishy. And if you give me little squishy baby nifflers, I'm going to love them and squish them. These are too funny. Okay, love these. Look at, there's four of them. And can you tell, like, I mean, super smushy. Look at how small I can smush him up. And then I'll pop back out, cause he's magical. And they're all different, a little bit different. Very, very, cute. This is funny. I never would have expected anything like this. Three of them face forward and this guy's on his back. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Very creative. Very cute. And if you are sharing this crate with anybody or you want to share any of the items, especially probably with kids because not all adults like squishies, um, you've got four little guys that you could split up between people or, uh, you know, obviously keep them all for yourself like I plan to because they're ridiculously cute. So I love these. And item number five, I think this is our last one. I think it's the last thing in our box. Let me be sure. Yes. Oh, and here, there's a card that advertises um, that you can buy Crimes of Grindelwald. So I'll just leave that in the box for the moment. But our last item is a pin. We get a pin a lot in these boxes and I have no problem with that. Okay, you're gonna have to help me figure out how to pronounce this because on this front, I have failed as a Harry Potter fan. I do not know how to pronounce this. Madagot, Madago. Okay, so I looked it up and the English pronunciation is more Madigat and the French pronunciation seems to be more Madago. So I'll just do the English pronunciation of Madigat for now, for now until I rewatch Crimes of Grindelwald, maybe they said it when they were in the ministry and I just don't remember. So anyway, this is a Madigat pin, pronunciation pending. And it is a magical creature that guards the part of the ministry. Okay, so let me actually read the definition in the booklet so we know what it is. It says, the Madigat is a feline spirit from French folklore used as security by the French ministry. Okay, so just a feline spirit. And they're a little scary looking in terms of cats. Like they don't look like the friendliest, cuddliest cats because that's not what they're there for. So um, I think it's a cool pin. And I don't think you can tell easily um, from a distance, but up close I can tell that it is a deep purple color. And I like it. I like that we keep getting pins. I'm going to add this up to my shelf. Uh, up there is where I put my um, the rest of my loot crate pins most recently have moved them up a shelf. 
So let me see how many pins this makes now. So it looks like this is my seventh pin that the Loot Crate has included, which is awesome. So I believe I mentioned this. I might have mentioned this in the last Loot Crate video. If I didn't, I wanted to. But um, you can start collecting, in a way, uh, Harry Potter pins just by getting the Loot Crate. I know they sell a ton of pins at Universal, in the Wizarding World at Universal. But if you aren't able to make it and you still want Harry Potter pins and you don't want to order them separately for whatever reason, just so you know that this Wizarding World Loot Crate is a way that you can start a Harry Potter pin collection because more often than not, they are going to send you a pin that is Harry Potter related. So before you know it, like I've got seven pins so far. So before you know it, you're going to have a lanyard full of pins if you want. So that's everything that we got. So again, I'll do another um, quick look. So we got five items this month. So we got the French Ministry tin sign. And we've got our Madigat pin. And our set of four squishy baby nifflers. Our Nagini Maledictus t-shirt. And our Kelpie mug. So that's five items for April of 2019. All cool stuff. I'm particularly excited about the mug and the squishies. I mean, how can you not be excited about a squishy? Well, probably if you're a normal adult, you're not super excited about the little squishies, but I think they're very, very cute. And I cannot wait to use my mug. Um, I'm gonna be careful with putting it in the dishwasher though, so that the Kelpie design on the outside doesn't come off any sooner than, you know, it needs to with wear and tear. So I'm gonna be a little bit careful with it. But those are the things that I am most excited about in this box. So another good box, another um, Fantastic Beast themed box too, not strictly Harry Potter, but another, we've seen several boxes that are more focused on Fantastic Beasts. So this was one of them. Um, I'm still loving these boxes and I plan to be back with another video for my next one in just a couple months. So thanks very much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.